80 million trees, old growth, taiga trees, big trees, were knocked down. On the other hand, it did very little damage, for it killed not one human being. Not immediately, anyway. Uh, there were several people who may have died in the aftermath, but there was no documented deaths of human beings in the immediate aftermath of the event. So Asimov goes on to say, consider how unusual that had to be. 70% of the Earth's surface is water. If that fall had taken place anywhere in the ocean, tsunamis would have washed the nearer shores and done much damage. Another 10% of the Earth's surface is covered by permanent ice. If the fall had taken place there, enough melting might just barely have come about to cause the slippage of large quantities of ice into the ocean, bringing about catastrophic changes in the Earth's sea level and climate. At least 15% of what is left of the Earth's surface is populated more or less thickly with human beings and is littered more or less thoroughly with the products of their civilization. If the fall had taken place there, anywhere from hundreds to millions of people would have been killed, and anywhere from thousands to billions of dollars of damage would have been inflicted. The, wall, the fall would have completely wiped out any city it had struck. Refor re recall the reference to four hours and 47 minutes later, it would have wiped out the city of Leningrad. Perhaps not more than 5% of the surface of the Earth could have received that 1908 blow without any damage at all being done to human life and property. And with the odds 20 to 1 against it, that fall took place more or less safely from the human standpoint. By the same token, though, the place in which the fall occurred was inaccessible, else it would have been populated, and it was years before the vicinity could be examined. It was only then that the real mystery began. Consider that the fall managed to find a 1 in 20 place where it would do no damage, almost as if, though, someone was trying humanely to avoid what?